Well, hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. I am Tim, and this video is about this right here. I've been using a 60 liter dual zone refrigerator in the back of my Jeep Cherokee, and when I put it in there, it takes up the whole cargo area. I have just enough room when that refrigerator is in there that I can put my Victor power unit to help power it and basically that's about it. So we needed a refrigerator that was smaller and I chose to get this one. I got this on a sale. Really good deal. Excuse the plane going over. Never failed. Plane or train. But anyway. I chose this one. I got a good deal. Now I have talked to the company. They are sending me a insulated cover for it, but uh, that's not here yet. So we're just going to show you what I got. So let's get it unboxed. Okay, we have a box within a box. So it's packed very well. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Let's just cut this down here. And then I'll cut this other one. Okay. Now maybe I can slide this out of here. Get rid of that box. I'm going to set this whole thing down on the ground. And I should be able to lift this up. Put it on here. So there we go. Make sure y'all are still seeing what I'm seeing. So we have the set power 42 liter 12 volt refrigerator. It has a locking handle. The lid stays up like that. We have a basket with a divider. Inside, well, I won't tilt this over. I'll bring you all over closer and look at it. Let's go ahead and put this back in there. These are your silicone packs to keep everything dry. Let's 
this will be your power cord. We have the paperwork. They give us some stickers. This product is warranted for three years on the compressor and one year for all other parts from the date of purchase. You are entitled to a replacement or refund for major failure and compensation for any other reasonably foreseeable loss or damage. And the instructions, the energy guide, you know, to show this to you. See what else we have here. You got your hardware for the handles. Oops, drop one. And then this is your power cord. Now they're a little different than the refrigerator I have now, as it has two plugs, one for one. 10 in our house current and then one for 12 volt. This one, you have your 12 volt plug that plugs into the refrigerator and then to hook up to a house current, you're going to use this box that has this plug. Let's see which way that goes. But it has a 12 volt female plug that your 12 volt plug will plug in. And that's how you get your house current. So, your plugs are going to be on this end. You have a 15 amp fuse, and there's your 12 volt, 24 volt plug. See how long this cord is. I like to set my power unit sometimes behind the front seat. Oh yes, plenty long enough to reach from the back of the Jeep to the floorboard behind the passenger seat. Now this should plug in for well, butter fingers. Just like so. Now, you need to let these set for four hours after you receive them before putting the power to them. It lets all the juices flow, get back where they're supposed to be little closer shot of the set power 42 quart you got your vents one side's gonna suck air in and then the other side's going to exhaust the heat here's your keyboard have a little indentions for holding cans I said a lockable handle here has a strap that keeps your lid from going all the way back and as you see you can also remove that strap so you can fold that lid back just a little bit more it won't accidentally fold up on you and you have your temperatures here has some air codes troubleshooting that's nice it's right there on the thing you're going to have a light. That's pretty cool. And then you have a smaller compartment here that's not going to get quite as cold, which I like that idea. And then you have your bigger compartment here. And if you notice in the bottom, there's cutouts for like two liter soda bottles. You just pull this 
cage out and not use it and then you set your two liters down in there so they'll stand up in there I like the divider I like the color and it's not going to take up near as much space. Let's go ahead and set it in the Jeep. Okay, I've got the set power freezer in the back of the Jeep with my seat still up and I have all kinds of room left. Right now I've got my Victor power station and I've got my Jortutis uh, SUV air mattress. I just did a video about that, so check that out. I have room that I can put stuff in between the cooler and the back seat to keep it out of the way. I will have room to put my handles on both sides. It's a perfect height. There's not going to be an issue with my gate shutting. You can see my window's dirty, but do you see there's all kinds of room in between my glass and gate in the freezer? But my 60 liter, it took up, I would say from this black bag all the way across. I mean all the way across too. And then against the seat. And I just had enough room to lift the lid. Let's see how this one lifts. I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to hold the lid up if you're getting something out of it because that's as far up as it'll go. But I just put my head against it and I have plenty of room that I can get in this back compartment. I can get stuff out and I would be able to pull a two liter bottle out of there without taking the freezer out of the Jeep. And another thing, this is about 30 pounds less weight than that 60 liter. So it's going to be easier taking this out if I need to change a flat tire. And if I don't want to take it out, I can fold this seat down and just slide it forward. As you can see, it, you don't have to fold the big part of the seat back, just the small one. And that skinny enough, you can just slide it straight forward and get it off of your compartment to get your spare tire out. So if it's loaded down and it's really heavy, it might just be easier just to slide it forward like that instead of trying to get it out of the Jeep. But I'm gonna put the handles on and let it sit for a while before we turn it on. All right, so I was just pulling out these plugs. They just pop in there. Really easy. And now let's grab a hardware and a handle. Go this out right here. They provide everything you need. Your screws and your tool. Let's put this one here on first.
going to go ahead and insert the pot just like so. Pretty heavy duty handles. Be nice to use to strap this thing down. I'll tighten them up better. But that's how you put them on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn y'all off and put the other handle on. And that's pretty much gonna cover this for now. So I zip tied a old bag I had on the handle and it has the house cord and when I'm not plugged into the vehicle the 12 volt cords up in there and there's plenty of room that I can store other stuff and it's also a cold bag so if I need to throw a couple cans in there uh, I can do that too. But we're going to see that that's going to be up against the seat so you're not going to really see it but I'm going to flip it around and see how it fits up in there. All right, guys, I've had this set power refrigerator in the Jeep for a while now. We've been using it quite a bit. Now, as you can see, I do have the insulated cover on it that set power sent me, and I appreciate them sending that to me. So far, it's been a really good company for me to uh, work with and get responses from. But yeah, I've got the door propped open because I just cleaned it and I was letting it dry. It should be dry now. Got some dry packs back there. And the cover was really easy to put on. And I have changed up some stuff. It has pockets here where your cords can go. Another one back here. And I've been powering it with this Victor power station, and it's been working great. I have the power station plugged into my Jeep power. So when the Jeep is running, it charges the Victor. And then I have the set power plugged into the Victor. And uh, for instance, our last camping trip that we took in November, or Thanksgiving uh, I had got to where when we'd get to camp if I was using this at a powered campsite I would plug the refrigerator into a cord and power it with the uh, power supply that the campground provided and that worked great but this last trip instead of messing with plugging it in and unplugging it I wanted to see if that Victor would just power it and I just left it plugged into the Victor. I never messed with it. And we ran four days with no issues. Now we were getting in the Jeep. We made a supply run to town to get some food and some fuel. We drove around the campground a few times. So we were still driving uh, the Jeep to recharge the Victor. And it would recharge it enough that we never have we never got below 50 percent so it works really great it's a low draw it seems to hold temperature i hate to say it but better than my iceco 60 vl dual zone and uh I, i've said it and it just seems to stay there it holds plenty uh it was me and ashley and we stayed for four days and uh, nights or four days at the campground and we had plenty of food uh, so there's plenty of room in there and I, I'd love that I have all this extra room that I can store stuff versus that ice co that took up my whole hatch but so far it's been running really good I do have it strapped in there 
I, I have this uh, first aid kit just clamped around the handle where I can grab it real quick. The blue bag that I had on that end I no longer use because the power cords now go in here. And then I have room up there that I can put my tripods and stuff like that. that that's a chair right there. So I need to clean this up, but it's just some of the stuff I had left in there from our camping trip. And this is easy to take in and out. So if I need this space, I don't have to leave that in there. Uh, I do like the black cover because it helps camouflage it when the gate's shut. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb or it's not as noticeable to people walking by that it's in there. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been working out really good. Works perfect in the Jeep. So, so far, I highly recommend the set power. I'm really loving this refrigerator. And if it keeps working like this, it's one of the best deals because I got a deal on that refrigerator. Very happy with it. But anyway, uh, be sure to check the description of this video out for a link to that refrigerator if you want to go pick one up and uh, we have an Amazon store link that you'll see above the video description in all of our videos so go check that out if you're looking for some of the gear that we use and recommend thanks for watching